simulated engine failure. That's all with that. I'd be surprised if we could make it. You can land with no flaps. Yep. I'm learning to fly, but I ain't got wings. Coming down is the hardest thing. Welcome to a short clip from a recent flight lesson. In this clip, I do a power off 180 with my flight instructor. It's a maneuver that isn't required for the private pilot certificate, but I wanted to get some experience with it in order to increase my confidence that I could land the plane with no engine. I was especially interested in getting a feel for the altitude to glide distance ratio. That is, how far I could expect the plane to glide given a certain altitude. This is obviously important when picking a landing site in an actual emergency. Since I'm flying at a towered airport, I first had to request a short approach. Deck tower is got 1053 X ray on left downwind. Request the short approach and touch and go. 53 X ray short approach, clear touch and go. Clear touch and go, 3653 X ray. So, power off or power back? You're just going to pull it all the way to idle. Okay. Never do this by yourself. Okay. <laughs> okay, for a while, I guess. Yeah, until. Okay. You got your private. Okay. Then it doesn't matter. <laughs> then it's all on you. <laughs> So all the way to idle? Uh, it's all the way to idle. All right. Uh, on this first attempt, I wait too long to pitch for best glide speed, and you'll notice I really pay for it later. I'm tempted to maybe just, even just kind of start a smooth bang. Yep. Um, I'd be surprised if we could make it. So, yeah, I'd definitely start that turn. Um, because I, remember, you always can do a forge slip to get down, yeah. but you got no power. Uh, in a real do, I know, do I know if you're pitching for 65 right now? Yeah. Okay. Best glide. Okay. Yeah, I should have. Okay, so I should have been doing that back there. Yep. Let's see how much altitude we already lost. Yeah, yeah. Could I, so I keep on. I mean, okay. pitch for that. Okay. Yeah, this is very good exercise. Like this. Uh, yeah, I'd already start cutting it. Yeah. Because we can. Yeah, that's true. We don't. I'm not too far. <clears throat> I'm at 70. I could be at 65. Uh, 68, sorry. That's fine. That's what 70 is good. And then once you for sure got the runway made, and only when you're 100% positive you got it made, well, that's when you can start adding some flaps. Okay. But right now, I'm not 100% yep, positive. Exactly. Um, do we can land with no flaps? Yep. If we, if we have to. Okay. Uh, I, okay. You want to go with no flaps? I think it's closed. No flaps. No flaps. There's no flaps. <laughs> I, I didn't have to let the nose down hard, I guess, but we got plenty of speed here. Like real good. Okay. You want to do another one of those? Or? Yep. Okay. This next one starts in the same position in the air, speed, and altitude. Another short approach. But this time, yep. I immediately yeah, pitched for best glide go. speed. Notice what a difference it makes. We easily make the landing with full flaps this time. I really appreciate my instructor allowing me to make the mistake the first time in order to see what the consequences are. I won't soon forget the importance of pitching for best glide speed the moment the engine fails. And so last time I wasn't going to say anything, but I think you know what to do this time right off the bat. Okay. When we go power to idle, what are you going to do? Uh, pitch for 65. Yep, get that. 68. 68, okay. That's why. <laughs> Give myself a little extra altitude there. Okay. Okay, so power of engine failure. Uh, pitch score 68. And um, recognize that this is a lagging indicator. And I might just start to be about that turn. And I'm looking for a field. Looking for a field. This was. Well, yeah. No, we didn't. <laughs> yeah. right, maybe I'm adding too much here. Yep. But okay. okay. I'll concentrate. We, we got a runway. Okay, I'll concentrate. So, so would you try to restart it in a real engine failure uh, here? Yeah. Um, so uh, I'm going to... I mean, well, if you're practicing... If you've got a runway. Exactly. If yeah. you're over a runway, you're a thousand feet yeah. off the ground. That's not really time to be... Unless, I mean, one thing I would do for sure is turn on that uh, auxiliary fuel pump because maybe your engine driven. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to do it, but I'm just going to kind of simulate it. Okay, hit the auxiliary. 
And so now, how do you feel about your height? Uh, I'm way high. I'm probably yeah. able to so use it. Yeah, let's go ahead and put some in. Uh, okay. Uh, and you're in the wide arc, so how do you still feel? Uh, I could do 20. Yep. Um, go ahead and put them in. Okay. I'll trust you. I think those by myself. I think I'd wait till I'm lined up. Uh, oh, yeah, we have plenty. Yeah. Uh, okay, 670. I can pitch 70 now. Just make it a regular way. Now you can probably. 30? I'd, I'd hold off oh, on 30, okay. but once you for sure got it made, which yeah. I think will. Want to do 30? It's up to you. What the heck? Yep, because we, we got the runway made. I want to do 30 anyway. Okay, I got it. Maybe not to a normal landing. Not too much. Do you want to fly down to the runway? Where will the other go back? All right. Come down.